The MFM 300 multifunction instrument is stored in a hard protective case that allows for safe and convenient storage of all probes and accessories. Getting started with the MFM 300 is easy. Press the power button to turn the MFM 300 on and to display remaining battery life and installed firmware. The MFM 300 has a protective rubber boot and a convenient hanger hook for use on the job site. The battery door is easily accessible on the back of the unit. The MFM 300 accepts any Cooper Atkins 10K thermistor temperature probe in the T1, T2 or T3 input jacks. Use the backlight button to illuminate the screen in low light conditions. In addition to temperature, the MFM 300 can measure and display a number of other parameters including humidity. Changing or adding a probe is easy. No programming is needed. The MFM 300 works in conjunction with Cooper Atkins temperature data logger tags. To begin, insert a GL300 cable into U1 and attach a GL100 data logger tag. This will activate the GL100 data log menu. Using the up-down arrows, highlight the check settings option in the menu and enter to check the settings on the attached data logger. To program or reprogram a mission on the attached data logger, highlight the program a mission option in the menu and enter. Follow the on-screen prompts to enter job name, sampling interval, when full instructions, date and time, and delay start, all using the up-down arrows and keypad. Enter to accept and write these settings to the attached data logger tag. To download data from a data logger tag directly to the MFM 300 for later viewing, select the Download Data option in the menu and enter. To view data from a data logger tag directly on the MFM 300 screen, select the View Data option in the menu and enter. Use the up-down arrows to view specific temperature, time, and date. The MFM 300 has many features that can be accessed by selecting the menu button. Highlight the Adjust Contrast option in the menu and enter. Adjust screen contrast to desired levels using the up-down arrows and enter when done. To view or delete saved data log information using the MFM 300, select the View GL100 Log option and enter. Highlight the log you want and enter. You may either view or delete the selected log. The MFM 300 can be used to display pressure temperature charts for all refrigerant data loaded in the unit. Select the pressure temperature chart option in the menu and enter. Push the REF button and use the up-down arrows to find the desired refrigerant and enter. Scroll through the PT chart using the up-down arrows. By using the main menu, you have the option of showing or hiding elapsed time on the MFM 300 display or disabling or enabling the auto shutoff features. The MFM 300 can capture and store data that is currently being measured and displayed. Select the Capture option in the menu and enter. Select the Take Snapshots option and enter to display the snapshot setup screen. The current description, date and time are entered here using the up-down arrows and keypad. Once setup is complete, a flashing camera icon appears on the screen. To take a snapshot, press the Enter button and enter again to save. Up to 100 snapshots can be stored in the MFM 300. To stop using the snapshot feature, go back into the main menu, select Capture, and select the item named Stop Snapshots. To view snapshots stored in the MFM 300, go back to the main menu and select the Capture option and enter. Highlight View Snapshots and enter to display stored snapshots. Use the up-down arrows to scroll through stored snapshots.
To stop reviewing snapshots, press Cancel. To delete all stored snapshots, select the Capture option in the main menu and enter. Highlight Delete All Snapshots and enter. Confirm that all stored snapshots should be deleted and enter. Several parameters can be set using the Setup menu in the MFM 300. Select the Menu button and then highlight the Setup option and enter. Items in the Setup menu include Set Altitude, Units of Measure, Temperature Calibration, and Zero Out Pressure Probes. To return to the main menu, press Cancel at any time. To update the MFM 300 firmware, download new refrigerant data, or download snapshot or data log information. Connect the unit to a PC that has the MFM 300 Toolbox application installed. To learn more about the MFM 300, follow the links on the main menu.